Over the past couple of years of me covering crime on my YouTube channel, we've been over a lot of high profile celebrities who have got robbed. Yes, in this day and age, robbers don't really care who you are. In fact, if you are of a high profile, then sadly that makes you more of a target, believe it or not. I won't list the amount of A-list celebrities who have fell victim to robberies over the past couple of years, but one reoccurring theme would be Premier League football players. Of course, sometimes these robberies have been extremely successful, other times not so much. This time around, it's Arsenal players once again, more specifically, Gabriel. Anyone who's familiar with Premier League football is getting robbed will know that it was only a couple of years back that Arsenal football players Ozil and Kalazanak were nearly robbed by moped thieves in broad daylight, but they got away with nothing. In fact, the players had fought back, and that's exactly what happened in today's story with Gabriel. In August of 2020, Arsenal football star Gabriel and his friend Rodrigo Taravez had been followed home from a night out by robbers who demanded the footballer's car keys to his £45,000 Mercedes mobile phone and watch as he got out of his vehicle. Abdurrahman Musay, along with an accomplice, both wearing masks and hoods, are seen on CCTV walking into the garage, and then Abdurrahman proceeds to hold the baseball bat up to Gabriel's face. The footballer is then seen holding his hands up in the air, removes his watch, and hands it to his attacker, along with his car keys. Abdurrahman then lunged at Gabriel with the bat, but Gabriel punched him in the face, wrestled with him, grabbed his hat, but eventually Abdurrahman wriggled free and ran off. For Abdurrahman though, it was only a matter of time before the police caught up with him. Of course, Abdurrahman was arrested and charged in connection with the investigation after DNA from the hat linked him to the crime scene. In a recent court hearing, it was heard that thankfully no one suffered significant injuries, but the incident caused a great deal of distress for the victims. But in this situation, the judge said that there was no evidence to suggest that Abdurrahman and his accomplices targeted Gabriel because he was a footballer. Rather, they had followed him to his home because he appeared to be wealthy. Abdurrahman has a huge criminal record though and has a string of convictions dating back to 2009 where he was caught in possession of a prohibited weapon. In fact, he was on license when he attacked Gabriel after being given a 56-month prison sentence for possessing heroin with intent to supply. Either way though, this time around he was handed a five-year jail sentence for the incident. Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta praised the defender today after the footage emerged. He said, it's not a nice thing to go through when you have family involved. Gabby showed a lot of character, credit to the boy. After that, he was fine. Obviously, he was shocked. The club have given him the support to try and move on from the situation. And it's a good thing that he's been receiving support because at the end of the day, these types of situations are extremely distressing for the victims. And at the end of the day, we do have to remember that although this is a Premier League footballer, he is still a human being at the end of the day. And if someone is going to pretty much come into your home and rob you in your own home, this could lead to extreme mental health issues moving forward. So again, moving forward, I do hope that he continues to get the support that he needs and hopefully he can move on from this situation. For now though, give the video a like for more crime related content like this and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't. It's been me, Ape Honcho, and I'll see you in the next one.